My first job,、uh, I was a kitchen helper. Michiko Kawano is from Japan. She is one of 60,000 international students who study in Vancouver every year. When she arrived, she got a job at a Caresdale restaurant to pay her way. She says because she was a foreign student, her boss took advantage of her.、Uh, first one month, I worked for free because my boss said it was training. But that wasn't the end of the problems with her boss. He kept touching in prices where it it was clearly sexual. Kuano says he wanted to meet her after working hours. She just wanted sex with me, so I refused.、Uh, when I refused, he cut my work schedule from four days to two days. With no one to talk to and no one to go for help, Kuano quit. When I came here, I used some agency, but they didn't tell me how to complain. So nobody told me how to complain. She eventually found the Japanese Community Association Tanari Gumi. Counselor Kayoko Nishoka specifically helps students like Kawano. I listen to their situation. And see if they can complain to a employment standard branch. The employment standard branch enforces proper working conditions. With the help of the agency, Kawano got her lost wages, but nothing was done about the sexual harassment. There are 5,000 Japanese working holiday students in Canada every year. Nishoka receives complaints on a regular basis. She says students are often desperate to work. They appreciate so much that they. Found the job. Somebody, you know, actually hired them. That they, they're willing to do anything. But not all student complaints are work-related. There are also concerns about where they live. These are called homestays. They pay money, and then the agency finds a homestay, arrange everything before they're leaving.、Uh, but then when they actually get there, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not like what they said. Akko Campbell paid five thousand dollars for her homestay in ESL school for three months. For that price, she was expected to get three meals a day, but that didn't happen. A few days, they were really kind and good person. I felt, but after they didn't give me a food. This was only the beginning. Without warning, most of the space she was paying for was rented out from under her, and three people. Moved in. They were paying three three person, eight hundred thirty bucks. I was paying seven hundred one person, and they took my space. Campbell went back to the agency that found her homestay and asked for help. Later, I told my agency, but they said they were very good host family, so I should understand Canadian family. They said, yeah, and they didn't. Give me a chance, and change the host family, and give back money. A lot of agencies and schools have strict regulations for homestays, but others fall through the cracks. Good afternoon, Langara Homestay Program. How can I help you? Valerie Peters is the manager for international Hello, education at Langara College.、Time? She deals with both homestays and、program. students. You have to keep in mind that there are students who are finding homestay on their own, maybe finding it through newspapers, maybe finding it through. Internet, maybe finding it on bulletin boards, and of course, then they don't have anybody. And so, I would say that those students are at the greatest risk. Peter says homestay programs like Langara have strict standards. They visit the home, check criminal records, and provide a 24-hour emergency line. The problem is there's no province-wide enforcement. There isn't any way of ensuring that any one particular homestay program is abiding by any kinds of standards or guidelines. Meanwhile, Tanarigumi services are wearing thin. They are the only Japanese social service agency in Vancouver. Honestly, you know, we cannot handle everything, everything, all the problems that international students have. There needs to be an agency specifically for those people. But for young women like Kawano and Campbell, the damage is done. Without more education and support. This abusive trend will continue, and others will end their experience in Vancouver with a similar fate. This is Chris Stevenson, Vancouver.